So, Sister Kate here, doing my morning chores, and I wanted to show you an update of the squash plants that I planted in my orchard. Not all of them made it, but two of them have, and here they are. And you can tell by the size of the bucket that you plant with how big this plant is. This is a pretty big, healthy, happy plant. And this one is right next to it. They're two different varieties. This is a uh, zucchini and this is a lemon squash. Makes a little fat round yellow squash. And I just pulled three off of it yesterday. And then today I came and got this zucchini. Um, you can see the size by the size of my hand. It's about six inches long. I'm sure if I left it down here it would get bigger, but I don't want it to get bigger. I don't want the great big zucchinis that are three feet long because the skin gets really hard and then that's hard for me to deal with. I like them smaller and, and tender hurt. And that's about the fourth or fifth zucchini I've pulled off of it so far this summer. Um, I did see some squash bugs down here and I did use uh, seven on them to kill them because I'd, I'd like to get some squash out of my squash plants and they've already killed two plants down in the main garden. So um, I went ahead and buckled and used a chemical, but uh, other than that, um, I haven't used any chemical interventions. So here they are, squash one and squash two, and I have a smaller one back in the woods back that way. It's the same as this, but it's about half the size. It doesn't get the same sunlight, but I've also pulled a couple of uh, fruits off of it, and then I planted two more squash plants in here. They are Hubbard squash. This one's really small. Um, it's gotten about three times as big as it was originally. But this one is doing better, and I'm not sure the difference uh, in location. They're only a few feet apart. But this one is starting to put out blooms and stuff. So hopefully I will get some Hubbard squash in here too. So that's just a uh, squash update. Hope your summer's going great and that your veggies are also thriving. Shalom!